Here I'm going to show you how to make a simple uh, monophonic um, pure data instrument and uh, control it with Renoise uh, using MIDI. Um, so I'm on a Mac, and in uh, on a Mac you have to uh, like you have MIDI routing built in. So you can go Window um, Show MIDI Device MIDI Studio, and this will pop up. Double click on your IAC driver, and and choose Devices Online. Uh, you can name it whatever you want if that's helpful. And uh, now you can route to the IAC driver in either direction. So you can have MIDI input or MIDI output and it'll just, uh, it'll just send it to the rest of the, you know, if it's an input, it'll send it to the outputs uh, and vice versa. Um, so in Windows, the equivalent of that is uh, MIDI aux. Um, so download this, and actually MIDI Yoke is the is the tool, um, and it's 32-bit only, so it's only going to work with 32-bit uh, versions of like Renoise and and uh, um, Pure Data. So you'll have to get everything in 32-bit if you're using 64-bit. Um, but once you install it, it will allow you to route things exactly the same way. It'll just make a bunch of virtual MIDI devices like. I think it makes eight of them, um, and you can uh, you can just put everything like on channel one of the MIDI yoke. Um, but okay, so now we've got routing done. Um, now, if you open up Pure Data and you go to Media MIDI MIDI settings, and you set your input device to IAC Driver Bus, now you can route to this anytime you want. So IAC Driver Bus is like now it's Renoise. Um, so it, I'm just going to open up a I. Quickly, I have one already made, but um, this is just the simplest, the simplest little um, demo possible. Um, it's uh, take a note in, turn the MIDI uh, signal, which is uh, zero to one twenty-seven, turn it into a frequency, then give the frequency to phaser, which is a square wave, and output that to a mixer. Now, a mixer uses zero to one to set the volume. So I take the volume from the node in, divide by 127, because again, it's 0 to 127. That gives me 0 to 1 right here, which gets plugged into the volume. That turns it on. So once you've got your, your system all set up, now this is the most simple thing. Um, it's monophonic. It's a dumb sound. But you can build really, really complicated instruments if you want to. So now if we go in here uh, in Renoise, um, if you set your output device to IAC driver bus 1, Now it's controlling pure data. So if we go back here and make a little song, it also does note off. So you can do, um, you can do uh, the um, caps lock to, to stop the note. And here's what you end up with. Now notice over here, uh, because we set the MIDI um, output on that on that particular instrument to that, it's linked here. So you don't want to load any other samples here because it'll play both of them at the same time. Um, but one thing you can do is you can rename it. So you can say um, pure data um, uh, phaser. There you go. That's about it. Uh, that's all you need to know. Um, let me know if you have any questions.